Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how to make quizzes on the fly using your Active Expression voting devices and Active Inspire. Uh, so, a lot of times you'll just be up at the board and you want to get a quick poll of your students or you'd like to get more information from them. So, you can just ask a question and again, how you ask it or how you put it up on the board, it's up to you. You can type it in. You can just ask the question and start the quiz. Uh, so, for example, if you wanted to ask um, what color are your eyes and get a, a sample of your students, put this up and then over on your menu bar you just click on the express poll icon which I'm pointing out right now, it's a little blue question mark and then it brings up the wonder wheel. Let me quickly show you a few things about the wonder wheel. When you hover over the wonder wheel it gives you a bunch of choices. It looks pretty daunting at first but basically you have to figure out what kind of question you, you, you asked. The ABC is if you want the kids to text in their answers which uh, is nice. One, two, three, if you just want to use this for math, uh, send in numbers answered. Uh, but this one here that I'm pointing at the multiple choice is what we're using in this case. So I asked a five uh, option question, so I would do A through E. And then it brings up the next tier in the wonder wheel. And you can have one response, two responses, three responses, four or five responses and some questions you ask may uh, you want to allow the students to to key in five, up to five responses in this case they can only answer one so that's what I choose okay and then it starts the quiz automatically and on the voting devices you now see A through E on the screens so I'll just enter in a couple I sent one and you can notice that when you enter it in and send it those numbers start showing up okay so I'll just do three, and then I'll stop the quiz. If you, if everybody did uh, enter in their responses, your graph would pop up automatically. I'm going to stop the quiz because I've got students who haven't voted because I'm only using three out of my 23 devices. So I will say no, and then my let me move this out of the way here. My uh, graph comes up automatically. Once the graph is up, you can do a bunch of things. You could change it around uh, by who answered what. Okay, so this will go by each of the device's uh, numbers uh, and then which question each device answered. Uh, you could do this in a list. So device number 31 answered A, and it also shows how long it took that person to respond. Overall instructor pace. Um, scores gives you the summary of everybody. Vertical, it's a nice looking one, and also pie chart looks good too. Um, obviously, with so many not answering, it doesn't look as clean, but you get the point of that one. Text report, uh, and so there it shows you the unanswered one. The horizontal is the one that's the default, uh, but it does remember which one you uh, chose, and it will stick with that the next time you do a, uh, a question. I like to, and depending on what kind of activity you're doing, this button right here. It will let you paste uh, your vote results right into the flip chart. So you can see that it came up there. And so when I close this out, I still have a graphic icon of uh, the actual results, So which is kind of nice. If you wanted to hide that down, you can just drag it down, still have it, drag it wherever you want. Okay? All right. So...